man has the right to have a meaningful existence. And that can be achieved through occupations. Occupations should be accessible to everyone, including those who have disabilities. By definition, occupational therapy, it's a profession that helps uh, people across the lifespan to do um, the activities that are meaningful to them, the things that they need to do or they want to do. So these occupations are as simple as taking a bath, brushing your teeth, dressing up. These very, very simple everyday tasks, when you put them all together, these are like puzzle pieces. When you put it all together, then you see the purpose, why you're doing all these things. The, and that's where the meaning is um, attached to. The primary clients of occupational therapists are persons with disability, but it's not just limited to that. So when we talk about persons with disability, there are so many kinds of disabilities. We're talking about physical disability, psychosocial disability, or even um, sensorial disability or um, the developmental delays. We do not just come in when disability strikes. We try to prevent it. In a group of people who are possibly at risk, we can already do uh, programs to prevent disability from happening. We also cater to uh, people across the lifespan. So that means from infancy, to very, very old age. Those are the kinds of clients that um, we cater to. And that's not just individual clients, but also groups like families or organizations or even communities. We advocate for uh, persons with disabilities to have that fair chance to have a meaningful life through engaging in work. Without occupations, one is not able to do the roles and that in itself diminishes one's quality of life and diminishes your purpose and meaning. If you want to transform lives and if you want to be a change agent, you start with the small, simple things. And occupational therapists do exactly that. We do change lives one activity at a time.